what's up everyone it's a biogenesis back for some more animation throwdown and uh, we've got another box to look at also i wanted to point out really quick that we have a new little uh, icon down here where we can do a mom's old-fashioned mystery box you it includes a chance at a mythic card each pull increases the price and the price resets daily so it looks like these cost gems to open uh, I'm not sure how much the uh, price increases with every pool, but it looks like the mythic you can get uh, is Bob. And if you tap on the Bob here, it shows you the full prize pool. So you get uh, Nixons, you can get uh, various amounts of Giggity Watts, various amounts of random hero tokens, uh, various amounts of Epic Stones, various amounts of Power Stones, Legendary Stones, uh, Golden Turds, Looks like you can get arena and adventure refills and uh, speed ups for research. So a little bit of everything in here and then uh, also you get a chance at uh, doing a mythic card. Uh, I thought maybe I'll do a couple of these just to see what we get. Um, maybe we'll get a mythic, but probably not. But yeah, we'll do a couple of them just to see. So some legendary stones. So it looks like maybe it doubles every time. I'll do one more just to see if I can verify whether or not it doubles. A uh, bunch of Nixons. Okay, so it looks like maybe it just adds 25 every time. So that's not too bad. Uh, we'll just do a couple more. Why not? Some, uh, some arena refills. We'll do one more. And some power stones. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty much done with that then. Um, yeah, if you've got a bunch of extra gems and you just want to go gambling to try and get a Mythic Bob, um, I guess, you know, you could do some every day and then just let it reset and maybe you'll end up getting one, but eh, it's neat. It's a, it's a cool little feature, but it looks like it's just another gem sink. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this box, see what we get. So we get the Freezer Dome box. Uh, in it, we get Freezer Dome Luis, uh, the, the item card Freezer Dome, Death Ball, Turnin' Jeff, Philip J. Fry, Linda Belcher, Freezer Dome Linda, Serious Runner Brian, Roller Derby, Lady Wrestling, Boys for Now, and Barbershop Vasectomy. Uh, as usual, I would say uh, just go ahead and recycle these four item cards. No need to keep those. Uh, onto the Epic PC cards. Eh, Brian's a uh, get rid of that one. Uh, Freezer Dome Linda, she has good health, but her attack value is really low and her ability is not that impressive. So honestly, this would not even be a keeper for me. Uh, your character cards, I hold on to my characters because you never know when they're going to be good. Uh, Linda has some really good combos. Uh, she has a really good armed combo um, that I know of. I think it's Laser Razor. But uh, other than that, I'm not 100% sure. But still, like I said, I try and hold on to all of my legendary characters because you never really know when one of them is going to become good and useful. So it's always nice to just have them sitting in your inventory uh, for when that BG comes around where maybe a new combo might come out or something uh, and Linda might become one of the best characters and you just really want to have her in your deck. So uh, always good to hold on to at least a couple of them. So that way you have access to them. Philip J. Fry, though, we know 100%. Great legendary, a lot of good combos in a lot of different BGs. So this is definitely one uh, that people like to get and hold on to and uh, have multiples of. Uh, on to the item cards. So it looks like we get Turnin' Jeff, which is a musical card. Uh, eh. I mean, Turning Jeff's a really, really good musical card. So, I mean, if you wanted to go in on this box and you get them, I wouldn't get rid of them. You know, hold on to them. But, you know, don't waste your giggity watts on upgrading it right now. Wait until uh, we know the next music BG is coming up and then start upgrading them. But it's a good card worth holding on to, but it's just not going to be very useful for us right now. Death Ball is probably my favorite athletic card, or at least it makes some of the best combos. Uh, with the uh, wingnut combos. Uh, it also makes a handful of other really strong combos. Uh, I like the stats on it. The health is a little bit low. Uh, the abilities are pretty good though. You get a cheer all which affects everybody which is nice. Uh, but like I said the big reason I like this is because it makes some of the really really good combos. 
Uh, it's kind of like Book of Spells in that regard. You may not want to run a lot of these in your defensive rumble decks because it could end up getting blown out really easily. But uh, in your offensive rumble decks, uh, definitely having a couple of these is, is a really good option, even maybe up to three or four of them. Just because, like I said, it does make really, really good combos, really powerful combos. Uh, Freezer Dome is not one of my favorite cards. It starts out with no abilities and it ends up with kind of crappy abilities. On top of that, the stats are, eh, I mean, 45 is okay for, for defense, 12 is okay for attack, but again, not that exciting of a card. The only good thing about this is it's the uh, third card that you can use to make Wingnut Amy, although it does not make Wingnut Leela. It makes like I think Bugalo Rider, Leela, or something like that. It's a, it's a really bad combo. Uh, but it does make Wingnut Amy, so if you're running a lot of Amy's in your deck and you don't have access to push-ups or uh, Death Ball, and you want to have you know more ways to make that Wingnut Amy combo, uh, Freezer Dome will do that. So that's all I can say about Freezer Dome. And then with the uh, Freezer Dome Luis, uh, I like the health on it. The attack's okay, and then the abilities are... They're all right. I mean, Jab ha is situationally really good. Uh, punch is always good. And then uh, an attack boost is at least better than the health boost, in my opinion. Although it's certainly not super exciting. So this isn't really a box that I'm super excited about. If I had to pick between this or Baseball Chris, I would totally go in on the Baseball Chris box. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go in on it though. I think I'm probably just gonna hold on to my gems and wait. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Um, if you do decide to go in on this box though, please let me know in the comments below what you ended up getting because I would love to hear. I always like hearing when people do pulls what they end up getting, uh, especially when they end up getting like really sweet pulls where they, they get like seven or eight legendaries out of their 13 cards or whatever. Those were always cool to hear about. But yeah, so that's my opinion on this box. I would pass on it. But uh, like I said, I'm probably not even going to go in on the uh, baseball applesauce box, even though um, if I had to pick between uh, baseball applesauce or Freezer Dome Luis, I would definitely go with the baseball applesauce box um, before I went with the Freezer Dome Luis box. So that's my opinion on those guys. Uh, I hope it helped you make some decisions before the boxes go out of the shop in a couple of days. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, as always, I'm Abiogenesis, and I'll see you guys next time.